Hi friends, welcome back. As you can see now, we're going to be doing prawn and potato medley. Yes, there's no confusion. But before I do that, I'm just going to make quickly some brown rice that I'm going to have with my prawns. So here it is, I'm doing the brown rice and here we go. Start peeling the potatoes first. We are going to be just using one potato and I'm going to be showing you guys a really interesting way of doing this potato. We are going to be uh, just uh, peeling it chopping the bottom and using our apple slicer. I'm using the apple slicer just to slice my potatoes. It's really quick. It cuts them in like little uh, wedges and they are really quick to cook. So I'm just using one and the bottom part of course we don't waste it. So we just uh, slice the bottom in half and also the other portion in the middle you could also slice it into two or three pieces as whatever you like. I don't like to make it too thick. It takes too long to cook. So once you got all this ready, we are going to start with our tomatoes. I have taken about two to three tomatoes, which are medium size, and also chop uh, some chilies. I like it a little spicy because today my husband's joining me for lunch and we are going to be having some uh, prawns for lunch and he likes it pretty spicy. So it's if you don't like it too spicy, you can remove uh, some of the chilies or even all of them. It's really your call. So there we go, we've done the chilies and we are now um, on to our onions. Peel the onions and give them a rough chop. I've always dreamt of chopping the onions like a real chef. So here I am doing my trick on playing the video for you guys super fast so that it looks like I'm just the most expert chopper on the planet. <laughs> so I hope you enjoy the super fast uh, chopping and it doesn't scare you to see if my fingers are getting chopped. They did not apparently. So here we've got everything ready and we are going to start cooking. I'm going to be adding about uh, three to four tablespoons of oil because the potatoes take a uh, little oil there. I want to actually sort of pre-saute them because that will cook the potatoes well. They take some time to cook here. I don't know how your potatoes beha behave where you are. And, but here the potatoes take a little bit longer and uh, I prefer to add uh, definitely a little extra oil. So you may use any kind of oil, you may use ghee, you may use uh, any kind of uh, you know, uh, coconut oil or any avocado oil, whatever you like to use for your cooking. You can use that once your potatoes have become golden brown. As you can see, that is the time that you add the onions. Now, the onions, again, also have to turn slightly golden brown. And uh, at the same time, when your onions are a little bit um, going golden brown, you can add your garlic and ginger paste. All the measurements and everything will be down in the description box below. I pre-make my garlic and ginger paste, and I put it in my fridge. It lasts me for about a week or so. And if you would like to see how I do this, please uh, give me a comment and I will definitely share that with you. So all these tips and tricks that we all use when we cook and uh, I hope uh, they would be fun for you to uh, try them out while you're watching my videos. So here we go. We've got the garlic and uh, ginger paste in. I give it a little mix now. You can uh, actually stir the ingredients together. Uh, pretty roughly at the moment, but just a quick advice that once your prawns are in, please do not stir them a lot because that toughens up your prawns and they won't be nice and juicy. So I would recommend the minimum stirring up uh, when, once you've added your prawns in. So here goes the chilies and as I said, these are optional. You may omit them or reduce them as to your um, palette and uh, you can do whatever you like. So these are pretty optional. I used to like I like to use different colors. Uh, I think it makes the dish look really appetizing and also I think it's very healthy for us to use vegetables in different colors. Even though you may not agree that chili is a vegetable. So here goes the uh, tomatoes. A nice bunch of uh, tomatoes all chopped up. Uh, the tomatoes uh, give it nice uh, little tangy flavor in the dish which is really nice with seafood I think. So I like to add a whole load of tomatoes, usually two to three tomatoes, and I like to use them slightly ripe. So I don't like to use uh, if the tomato is really green or uh, not red yet. So it has to be nice and juicy, and that's how I you know, use the tomatoes in this dish. Now, once your tomatoes are uh, cooking, you can also add your prawns shortly after, and here comes the prawns. So... 
We've added the prawns in. Now I'm using frozen prawns. I get my uh, frozen prawns in Singapore at my local seafood market. And it's actually a store. If you want me to share with you where I get my prawns, please do comment be below and I will let you know where I buy my seafood. And uh, then I add a little bit more heat. Can you believe it? So we're going to just add a little bit of this uh, paprika. It's about, I'm adding about a heaped um, teaspoon to a flattened tablespoon. And also the same thing with the coriander, about a tablespoon of coriander. And then I have this really nice organic turmeric powder that I got from my mother-in-law. So thanks MIL for this wonderful turmeric powder. And I'm just adding like about half a teaspoon of that. So since it's a really nice quality, the turmeric gives it a nice color and it also has a lot of healing properties and it's really good for you as you all know. And here we go with our pink salt. As you all know, I usually always cook with pink salt. I usually don't use white salt. I don't even have white salt at home. So I use pink for cooking also. And that's the Himalayan salt. And I've added about, uh, let's say, about one tablespoon of salt because I intend to use some lemon later. Once your prawns are cooking, I find the black pepper that I'm adding that really helps killing the fishy smell out of prawns, if you guys know what that means to me because I find that sometimes seafood it tends to have that fishy uh, fragrance which I'm a little sensitive to and I really don't like that fishy fragrance. So adding that little bit of the black pepper, let's say about a quarter of a teaspoon and just taking my pepper mill on top once is just good enough and then I add my lemon juice and the lemon juice, the citrus in the lemon juice also helps with uh, cutting out the fishy uh, smell. And it also gives a very nice tangy flavor. Now, if you do not like lemon in your food, again, you may omit this out and you could just have it just the way it is with the onions and tomatoes and whatsoever. This is a very, very forgiving recipe. It's really easy and you can see how delicious it looks. It turned out really yummy. So now I'm going to convince you guys to hopefully try this out. Because uh, I'm sure you guys uh, like the way it looks. It looks very tempting. I wish you guys could join me. And um, some people do not like uh, this coriander as a garnish. So again, you can leave it out. I love coriander. So I just like to put it in everything. I love the way it smells. I love the way it tastes. And uh, you can just uh, do what you know, whatever you like. So here I'm taking some of my brown rice. I usually like to have brown rice. And... Here we are going to have uh, our prawn and potato medley, which has turned out really, really yummy and delicious. I wish we have uh, we had smell vision. You guys could smell it. It's really nice, fragrant, and it looks absolutely delicious. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please don't forget to subscribe and uh, also come back and watch my other future videos. Take care. Bye-bye.